on this Saturday, huh? Two-mile ocean swim, followed by 15 miles on a bicycle, followed by a 20-mile run. Followed by your funeral. <laughs> yeah, I'll miss you, bro. I'll cry myself to sleep and finally my own room, all right? <laughs> You're the one that's gonna kick, bro. You could use some exercise. It's good for you. Oh, hell! What happened? Did you have an accident? No, I meant to hit a tree, fly off a cliff, and tumble 40 feet. <laughs> Man. The bike must be totaled. When I find the rest of it, I'll let you know. I gotta get a new one before the triathlon. Hey, if you're doing the triathlon, why don't we train together? Sure, that'd be great. Unless you have a problem with that, bro. Why? Because Stats and I used to go out? Please, I'm cool. In fact, anything I can do to help. Can I borrow your bike? No. <laughs> Come on, Stats, you can borrow my dad's bike. We can take off the little basket. <laughs> So, your ex is going to be spending time with your brother getting all kissy kissy behind your back. Yeah, I'm not jealous. Besides, they're just training together. Training that kissy kissy. <laughs> Ow! Oh, 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 oh. Tracy, you okay? I just tripped over that sign. The one that says caution, wet floor. Yeah, why do you have that stupid sign there anyway? To warn customers, caution, wet floor. <laughs> We need another sign that says, caution, sign. Well, the important thing is you're okay. Ow! What's wrong? I can't move my ankle. Oh, this is awful. I'll get some ice. Oh, great. I'm hurt, and he's going to make a drink. <laughs> Boy, I haven't been in this room since Jason and I broke up. Oh, I see you switched my picture with Cameron Diaz. Actually, he replaced you with Carmen Electra. He replaced her with Jennifer Love Hewitt. And for a couple of weird days, it was Chelsea Clinton. <laughs> Boy, that is a lot of weight. Yeah, you better spot me. Okay. <sighs> this room brings back a lot of memories. <sighs> Does he ever think about me? <clears throat> oh, I see you still got that pillow I made <sighs> him. Spot, 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 spot. Sorry. <clears throat> Hey guys, don't mind me. Late for a movie, grabbing the jacket, and I'm gone. <sighs> okay, good. Now let's do some stomach crunches. Come on, Scott, sit on me. Good form. Wow, stomach's tight. So are your legs. They're like steel. You know, I haven't checked my email. Didn't you just check it? That was an hour ago. In the information age, that's an eternity. It's the World Wide Web. Critical data at my fingertips. Oh, look, Felicity has a website. Ow, I just pulled a muscle on my back. Mm -hmm. oh. I'll massage it out for you. Oh. Wow, uh, Felicity's thinking of straightening her hair. Gotta vote no on that. Aren't you gonna be late for your movie? How can I go to a movie when I, uh, I gotta download Felicity's quote of the day? Be yourself. Deep. <laughs> Samantha, who's that guy Tracy's been talking to? He seems familiar. Larry Wilson, that lawyer from TV? He got two million for a woman who found that pizza shack and I'm not helping him. No. I'm gone. And I'll be real careful on my way out so I don't trip and sue you and... <laughs> Bye. I can definitely help you. Call me. Tracy, uh, isn't that, um... Yeah, Larry Wilson from TV. Call 
call Larry Wilson if you hurt your foot, leg, or head. He'll make them believe money and wish they were dead. <laughs> Catchy. Yeah. Uh, you really aren't thinking about suing. I mean, money isn't everything. I don't care about the money. I just want to be in his commercial. Larry Wilson got me two million dollars and a beachfront restaurant. <laughs> Murray, you seen Scott and Stats? Oldest story in the book. Jealous ex-boyfriend shows up looking for his girl. <gasps> but she's off with someone else. He turns to me and he says, Shut up. Oh, you heard this story. <laughs> I'm not jealous. Then I can tell you they were just here. Stads looking lovely in her oh-so-snug swimsuit. Scott's muscles glistening. I get the picture. Not yet. They exchange a longing glance, as if they knew they were friends, soon to be lover. Murray. <laughs> hey, Jason. Uh, hi, guys. Murr, I'm freezing. Here. It's been fun working out. Hope you're not sick of me. We got a lot more training to do. Training night and day. Day and night. Night and night. You know, guys, I was thinking, why should you have all the fun? So I'm signing up for the triathlon, too. <laughs> you, the triathlon. That's a good one. What's so funny about that? You're going to have to swim two miles, bike 15 miles, and run 20 miles. Is that all? Yeah. Thank heavens. <laughs> woo woo! That was a great run! Hey, wasn't Jason running with you? Well, the first mile he was running with us, the second mile he was behind us, and the third mile I heard an ambulance siren. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Clips! Take it! A break? <laughs> Listen too hard, buddy. You gotta crawl before you can walk. Crawl, come on. He's lucky if he could roll over. <laughs> Dad, come here. Close. Close. I hate you. Jason, you can't do this to yourself. The race is tomorrow. You have gotta drop out. Look, Stads, you may not know this, but when Jason Collins decides something, he does it. And he's decided to drop out. <laughs> Stats, looks like it's just you and me on that moonlight run on the beach tonight. Cool. I'll go with you. If you're making a moonlight crawl. <laughs> okay? Now you can open your eyes. Okay. A very special booth for my very favorite customer. Wow, she's lucky. Who is she? You. <laughs> and if you look at the menu, you'll see today's special is... A Tracy sandwich! Uh. Wow! I'll have one of me with lettuce and tomato. Get it? Because it's a sandwich and it's me and... Oh, I kill me. If there's anything else I can get you, just let me know. Could you sing for me? Excuse me? Well, I've always heard of singing waiters, but I've never had one, I don't so... know any songs. Well, just make one up. I know one. Call Larry Wilson if you hurt your foot. Oh, okay, 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 I'll sing. I'll sing. Uh... Here's the story of a girl I know well. She was leaving my restaurant when she slipped and fell. Now she has her own booth and her food is free. And I hope she doesn't sue the pants off of me. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Another chorus? No, no. Tracy, what's wrong? Well, I really like Mr. Collins. I just hope my suing him won't hurt our relationship. Relationship with Mr. Collins? Hey, he sang to me. Of course, he was really, really bad. But he sang to me. And guys only do that when they're in love. Hey, Murray. I need you to help me keep Scott distracted so I can get it good with stats again. Okay, but first you gotta admit I was right. Okay, I admit it. I'm jealous. And? And I still like stats and I want her back. And? And what? That's it. And you always liked my hair better than yours. But I don't. Say it. I like your hair better than mine. You do? Thanks. Okay. Murray's taking care of Scott. And I've got everything set to remind Stads of the great times we had together. Scott? He's not here. 
What happened to the lights? Power went out. So I lit some candles. It kind of reminds me of that time when we were in that cabin in Big Bear. Oh, yeah. Power out, no heat. I got sick. You went skiing. Worst week of my life. Hey, power's back. Hey, look. Now I can see these delicious chocolate chip cookies. Remember when I used to make these for you and you used to eat them all up? Remember when I threw the scale at you? Anyway, I'm in training. Just tell Scott I'll meet him on the beach. Only got one bullet left. Hey, look, at Jason Stad's scrapbook. You kept a scrapbook of our relationship? Since the day we met. Then why is the glue still wet? It's, uh, crazy glue. Takes a crazy long time to dry. <laughs> look at that picture. Oh, yeah, that's from the night that we went to the airport with Scott. Yeah, remember we finally agreed to be a couple and we kissed all the way down the escalator? And then when we got to the parking lot, that old lady with the cane started hitting you for parking in the handicapped space. <laughs> you could help me out with the wooden leg story. I did. Until she whacked your leg and you screamed, Ow! <laughs> I'm glad I make you laugh. You do. Hey, maybe I will have one of those cookies. I'll go get you one. Or two. I'll just bring you the whole tray. Murray, you put away eight shrimp boats. I'm cutting you off. Gotta go running with Stads. Hey, your sign says all you can eat. He didn't read the fine print. All you can eat till I smack you with the pepper mill. <laughs> well, at least give me dessert. Fine, what do you want? Shrimp. Get it yourself. It's more shrimp in the walk-in. But be careful, the lock's broken. Don't pull the handle out or you'll lock yourself in. Right. Don't walk with the handle out or I'll lock myself in the shrimp. Got it, dude. <laughs> Hold on, Murray. Coming with you. Okay. Whatever you do, don't pull the handle out this way. Got it, dude. Don't pull the handle out this way. Great. Shrimp's over there. I gotta go meet Stats. And don't worry, because the last thing I'm gonna do is pull the handle out this way. Oh. Oops. Murray, what you do? Now we're locked in here all night. Dude, relax. Your dad always checks the walk-in fridge before he closes the restaurant. Right, Murray, but my dad already left. Oh. In that case... We're gonna die! <laughs> Hello, Tracy. Brought you some soup. Wow, Mr. Collins! I just had a dream about you. Actually, it was Brad Pitt. But he did own a restaurant, and I was suing him. You're not really thinking about suing me and taking my restaurant? Yeah! But don't worry. After we get married, we'll both own the lighthouse. Married? We'll live together just like in Malibu Barbie's dream house. I'm just like Barbie, and you're just like Ken. Except older and skinnier and you're losing some hearing in your left ear. What? I said you're losing some hearing. Tracy, look, uh, about this marriage thing, it's not that I don't like you. That's good, because if you didn't, my heart would be broken. And then when I win the restaurant and the lawsuit, I'd have to make you a busboy. What? A busboy. <laughs> look, we got to talk about this marriage thing. You're right. So much planning. Why don't you sit on the bed and we can discuss it, dear? <laughs> Tracy, I... Uh... Da, 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 da. Da, I, uh, da, da. I can't hear uh, what you're saying. Uh, the batteries in my hearing aid must be out again. Bye. <laughs> surfing, 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 surfing. What are you doing? Surfing. Just in case I die, I want my last words to be surfing. <laughs> surfing, surfing, surfing. If you don't surfing. shut up, your last words are going to be Scott. What are you doing with that ice pick? <laughs> What did you do in the triathlon? Two words. First place? Overslept. That's one word. Overslept jerk. Sorry. I hope it wasn't because I kept you up late last night. It was. But that's okay. I had a good time. And yeah, me too. Hey, I heard that Scott didn't show up for the race either. He didn't? Uh-oh. Better go find Murray. I mean, Scott. <laughs> Just sit down. I'll get you some hot coffee. Scott, Murray, what happened to you? They were locked in the walk-in cooler all night. All night? How'd you keep warm? I, I can't talk about it. Too cold, huh? No, I just can't talk about it. Hey, there is nothing to be ashamed of. 
Any two guys in that position would have coated themselves in butter and hugged all night. Scott, I'm sorry that you missed the triathlon. Yeah, that wasn't part of the plan. What plan? The plan to keep you away from Stats so Jason can get back together with her. Butter? Oh, so Jason ruined the race for both of us. I say we get him back. I'm with you. So am I. Hey, after last night, I feel kind of close to you. Okay, if Jason wants to be jealous, we'll give him something to be jealous about. Oh, Scott! These feelings I have are so intense! What? <laughs> when two people are meant to be together, no power on earth can keep them apart. Got that from Melrose Place. Listen to him. It's like a bad episode of Melrose Place. I'll never forget the first time I saw you on the beach. Your great body. I got a great body. Your sense of humor. I'm funnier than he is. Your honesty. I'm... Okay, he's got me there. Oh, Scott. I care so much for you. But... I still have feelings for Jason, too. Woo! 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 I'm so torn. Jason, Scott. Jason, Scott. Is there any way I can prove how much I care for you? Well, I always dreamed that someday a knight in shining armor would ride up on a white horse and tell me how much he loves me. Peter, I planned our whole wedding. I even picked out my wedding dress. Let's go to Vegas right now. Okay, Tracy. And then we'll move into our new home. A bigger, nicer beach house? Uh, not exactly. See, I came to Malibu to find the woman of my dreams. And I promised myself when I found her, I'd move to the land of my dreams. Alaska. Alaska? Ha ha ha. Very funny. Why aren't you laughing? Uh oh. Of course, you'll have to make some adjustments. Trade in your pink Corvette for a dog sled, your suntan lotion for frostbite cream, and instead of a beach house, we'll live in an igloo right on the ocean. Well, not so much an ocean as ice. But, but what about your restaurant? Oh, don't worry. I plan on opening up a new place. Peter's House of Blubber. That doesn't sound good. Uh, okay, okay. Peter and Tracy's House of Blubber. I can't move to Alaska. I'll freeze to death. Oh, no, you won't. Samantha, bring in Tracy's engagement gift. Huh? Ooh, that looks nice. <laughs> won't I be able to wear a bikini? In Alaska, that is a bikini. Ah, Peter, I can't marry you! What are you saying? I'm saying I can't marry you. Didn't you get batteries for your hearing aid? <laughs> Devastated? How could you? Oh, you look so sad. I wish there was something I could do. Oh, no, 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 there's nothing. Well, except for dropping the lawsuit. Done. <laughs> I mean, have a nice day. Murray, where have you been and where's that white stallion you promised? Relax, dude. I couldn't get a white stallion, but I did get this fine specimen. What is that? I would like you to meet Sir Kicks-a-Lot. Because he kicks a lot. Oh. Now it's starting to make sense. Oh, here comes Stan. Come on, boy, giddy up. Jason? Stads, my fair lovely, I come to you in humbleness. Uh, actually, you'll have to come to me. What are you doing? I am your knight in shining armor. I know you are torn between me and my brother, the Duke of Dork. But I am here to win your heart. <laughs> thou art the fool, for thou art the mule. Now thou art a nut, cause we set you up. Hey, 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 everybody, everybody, stop laughing. Because Sir Kick's a lot mad, and when he's mad, he. 
Come on, Murray. I'll take you to the doctor. Thank you, kind stranger. <laughs> Stats, I'm sorry. I was a jerk for thinking something was going on between you two. Yeah, kind of. You must look like a real idiot. Yeah, doing all this just to stop me from dating your brother. Well, actually, it wasn't just that. What are you saying? Did this because you still like me? Guess I do. You know, I really do have a white knight fantasy, but it ends a little bit differently. Oh, yeah? How? Like this. <laughs>